Hello, it's the IT Guys 99, and welcome back to Microsoft PowerPoint 2016. Today, we're going to be looking at the animations effects in Microsoft PowerPoint. So we'll start off by looking at how we can animate a simple object, such as this image of a camera. We have three different types of animations, which we can see if we come to the Animations tab on the wiki. They are entrance effects, emphasis effects, and exit effects. Entrance effects is what will bring the object and make it appear in the slide. Emphasis effects and motion paths are different animations that will appear work once your object is on your slide. And exits are types of ways that you can animate your object to disappear again. I'm going to add an animation to fade in my object, like so. If I then want to add an extra animation, for example, I want to say add a spin effect. Once it's in my slide, I add animation and add the spin. I'm going to come back to add animation and then put a fade a fly out exit animation. I can then look at the animation pane. This will show me the different animations. But at the moment, they're all going to happen on click. I want the first animation, the entrance, to happen on click. However, I want the spin to happen after the object has appeared. And I'm going to put a small delay of a second before it spins. I then want it to exit after it's spun. And again, I'm going to put in a second delay. So now let's play this from the start. So it'll fade in, spin around, and now leave. We can also animate the text. For example, if I come to Films, select this, and then choose an animation effect, such as Grow and Turn, like so, it'll add that effect. If I have multiple paragraphs, I can choose here to animate it as all at once or one paragraph. If I come to the animation pane, then right click on this effect option and click effect options. Under effect, you have the option to animate text. I can animate text by word or by letter. In this case, I want to have each word. In this case, I want each letter to be animated separately. In the effect options for all animations, you also have the option of adding one of these sound effects. I'm going to add a whoosh sound effect. You can preview and set the volume as so. And then you can click OK. And it'll animate each letter separately. I'm also going to set this to go and start at the same time as the picture exits. And you can rearrange so it starts first, like so. So let's preview this slide and see what we've done. There we go, so that's the animations we've looked at so far. Next we need to look at animation triggers. To do this, I've got this quiz style slide. I've got incorrect and correct appearing from the top. And what I want is the correct version either correct or incorrect to appear, depending on what's clicked. So I'm going to come to correct and incorrect and give them both a fade in animation. Like so. I'm now going to set the triggers. So for incorrect, I'm going to click on the trigger. And it's going to be on the click of carbon. So whenever the person clicks carbon, it'll make incorrect appear. Correct, I'm going to set the trigger but on the click of hydrogen. I'm going to put these back and now if I slideshow from the current slide I can click on hydrogen or carbon and the correct answer or incorrect will appear. I'll show you again for the other one. So that's a way that you can have different things appearing on your slide, depending on 
what you have clicked within your presentation. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. There's plenty more tutorials on our channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Also, leave a like and leave a comment. But for now, goodbye.